Immune thrombocytopenia, or ITP, is an autoimmune disease where your own body actually attacks your platelets and therefore your blood can't clot and it can lead to a lot of bleeding issues. ITP affects 10 times more people than hemophilia but is relatively unknown to most. It affects children, it affects teens, uh, adults, older people. In children, it is typically more of an acute disease, whereas in older people or adults, it's more of a chronic disease, uh, lifelong, can be a lifelong uh, disease. I kept noticing bruises all over my body. It looked battered on both sides, especially both legs. It was alarming, and I didn't know what was going on. I went to my primary care doctor to get a blood test. I assumed we'd find something simple, like low iron, and that would be it. I didn't think for a minute that it could be anything serious. People with ITP face a lot of challenges. Uh, first off, it's sometimes difficult to get a proper diagnosis. And then one of the biggest challenges is actually finding a physician who treats a lot of ITP patients. There are very few experts in the world um, who are actually experts in ITP and who understand all of the treatments. Once my primary care doctor saw my blood work, she said it was an emergency. I had very low platelets. I need to see a hematologist. The hematologist told me that ITP was a diagnosis of exclusion, so he needed to first rule out other potential blood diseases. With the results we were seeing, he thought it was ITP, but he wanted to be sure. We always say that ITP is as much of an emotional disease as it is a physical disease, and we compare it to being on a roller coaster. There's just a lot of ups and downs. In addition, uh, there's a lot of fatigue associated with ITP, um, and so uh, quality of life is really impacted. It has been challenging living with ITP, both physically and emotionally, especially in the beginning. I was often vague with my friends about my ITP because I didn't want anyone to feel sorry for me or have to go out of their way to help. This was not how I ever thought my life would be. When I was first diagnosed, I was in denial. But once I started learning about ITP, I realized knowledge is power. I could regain control over my own body and work with my healthcare team to make decisions. Once I realized that, I wanted to know everything, what a platelet was, what a normal platelet count is, what all the options were. It's really important for people with ITP to advocate for themselves or for their loved ones. Positivity goes a long way. Everyone can find a support system out there, and that's one of the most crucial parts of fighting this disease. I would tell anyone with ITP right now, you are stronger than you think.